each part of the exhibit you know, reveals a different perspective, which I think was the design of the layout. Uh, some of these exhibits are going to be uh, overhauled, so they may be able to be used for traveling exhibits in other locations like Freedom's Frontier National Heritage Area. Here we have a panorama of the uh, wagons crossing the river in the background, uh, various pack animals, livestock trailing the wagon. Generally, the people walked alongside rather than rode inside, so I'm not sure how authentic that particular artist's interpretation is. Here we find the uh, Levy Mercantile heat dunk stand when I asked where there might be uh, food service. They said there's some limited snacks in this location, probably other. Uh... Oh, we got the uh, coffee story here coffee grinding, various pioneer recipes, various manufactured goods. Made Right was the name of a scrub board. I thought it was the name of a uh, hamburger chain. So the names change. Various reprints of uh, books of instruction. Here we have the apothecary stand with the uh, original remedies since 1752. Kind of reminds me of my uncle's uh, drugstore in Hawkeye, Iowa, when I used to visit there as a grade schooler. Here's a uh, 1874 map of St. Louis with all its riverfront activities. Partners with the park, Jefferson National Parks Association. seen this phrenology head before uh, part of the Civil War medicine training some interesting artifacts here in terms of the uh, scales for measuring different ingredients or pharmaceuticals Guffey's sixth grade reader. I think I saw some of that at the Meaner Ferry in uh, Grand Tetons this summer. All kinds of interesting crocs along the top shelf here. Tell me, what's your most popular item here? Um, well, hot, hot tea and chocolate? Or does that depend <laughs> on the weather? The winter, that's the biggest sellers. Um, the taffy and the fudge. 